All right, today we're going to take this remnant of cloth that I printed a, uh, it's actually canvas, sail, sail canvas that Mike Chase gave me. We're going to take this uh, thresher tail, and I'm going to take this here scrap lumber, and we're going to do some ghetto framing, some ghetto gyotaku. I don't usually print on canvas, but, you know, you can't waste this stuff. Um, and I got to say, man, it came out real nice, so let's see how this thing comes out. Okay, so what I did was I measured the tail of the shark on its entirety, and it's 60 inches, so it's five feet exactly from the tip here all the way from where they cut it off the shark. So <clears throat> what I generally try to do is make it even between how far it is from the edge to the bottom and then how far it is from the edge to the top. So, you know, you want an even space all the way around. And so... It was 60 inches, I get about four inches of play on each side because you want to. We're going to wrap this around a piece of wood, so you want a little slack to be able to wrap around the, the backing frame and the bottom, too. You want some, some movement. So, <clears throat> with the length of the fish being five feet, I'm going to make my frame at 60, uh, four inches. So, instead of 60 inches. I'm going to give it two inches on either side. And from top to bottom, um, it's 20 inches from the bottom of the fin to the top of the fin. So um, that being 20 inches, I'm going to make it 24 inches. Okay. All right, so I have a bunch of two-by-fours and furring strips left over from all the projects I've done in my house. And I believe these are one by one and a half by three quarters. Yeah, about three quarters of an inch, and these are uh, one and a half inches. Okay, so I'm going to butt these up against each other, you know, this way here. Uh, so um, I'm going to have to take that inch and a half into account. So say three inches times two of these, right, is going to be three inches. And then so I need to make my brace 21 inches to make the 24 inches tall. Okay. So I cut the pieces out and you can see that there's enough to go around. There's enough canvas to go around the fish. Now, of course, these are laying on top. Uh, the frame is laying on top, but it's going to go behind. And then we're going to stretch the fish around it. And remember, this is ghetto frames, folks. You know, this is great ghetto frame episode. And uh, any fancy woodworkers make fun of me, you can stick it right up your coochie, man, because... This is quick, down and dirty, and you can frame your canvas prints in like 15 minutes, man. I mean, I got my saw right here and blowing fucking dust all over the house. Well, this is my kind of art space down here with all my tools. So, ghetto frames, man. About to use a little bit of glue. I'll show you how this works. All right, so we're just going to make four holes, okay? Put a little glue on this thing and screw it together with good old drywall screws. So I got my trusty Rio um, Makita, and I've had this bits. I mean, it's not sharp at all. It's going to burn through the wood. But I've had this, I don't know, man. <laughs> got to be shit before I married my first ex-wife. So that's a few, few ago. So. All right, just put a little glue on the end and just kind of set her in there, make sure she's square and... <laughs> then I'm going to take a screw and jam it in there, but I can't do it holding the phone. Hold on. All right. Even got it square. I'm not a savage. Okay, so now I have the, obviously the, the, the print is face down and I've kind of looked underneath and lifted up the uh, frame on ever you know, the whole uh, print up so I can see underneath there. And make sure that I'm centered. So now that I'm centered, I'm going to flip this end and staple it across here. And then go down the other end and flip the end over and then staple it across down there. Get right back to you. Okay. I use this guy here. <laughs> it's pretty good. You know, you whack it and a staple comes out. So I've stapled this down. And now I'm going to move down to the other end. But I'm going to stretch it so you're going to see a lot of the, the wrinkles go away. So let's actually just go down there. 
I put some towels underneath here because I'm working on the floor and obviously I'm kind of working in this room too. <laughs> so I didn't want to get the print dirty, but now I'm gonna go ahead and pull it, but I can't do it with two hands. Okay, you can see most of the wrinkle is out, but now that I'm gonna stretch it over to from the sides, you're gonna see the, the wrinkles go away there too. Okay, so there's still some wrinkles, you can see them, but they're almost gone because I have one more side to stretch, this one here. I've already stretched this side. You know, not much, I'm just trying to get it kind of snug. That side I'm gonna stretch, and I always start at the center and work my way to either side. Okay, here we go. So there she is, nice and framed. I still gotta put like something behind it to hook it to the wall. But you can see I trimmed, trimmed all that off. So, you know, it looks really good, man. There's virtually no wrinkles. I mean, there's a little something right there. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> So that's ready to hang, you know, uh, other than just having a piece of string on the back or, you know, some wire, but ghetto framing.